And here we go everybody, welcome back to Super Mega Baseball. Today we find out if we're going to the playoffs. It's game number 16. The last game is against the Crocodons. And we'll also find out if we can take down the Triple Crown as a team. We have been among the top of these leaderboards for the entire season. And today we finally find out if we can take it home as a team. But the first priority has to be getting this win and helping shore up a playoff spot against the Super Division Champion Crocodons. Let's go! With the way this season began, I did not expect us to have to grind out these last few games just to make the playoffs. Our offense has been the best perhaps in the entire league, and our pitching has been improved. It's just in 16 games, you know, bad stretches can happen, a couple games can go the wrong way, and that's how things can go sometimes so here we are game 16 and flash lifts this one into center field as Maurice Brick retires the first batter he sees on to Leon Daniels now as Brick deals quickly 89 miles per hour look faster and that one's also 89 a bit low and Leon gets ahead in the count let's get some base runners here the Crocodons are a great pitching team so you have to be selective and take what they can give you. And a soft tapper to short after the count gets full and Leon grounds out. Here is Lance Adams. Upstairs, ball one. Brick's accuracy is not his best trade as this is lifted into center. That's going back and is also caught. So three up, three down. At least we have our ace on the mound. In this season, he returned to his ace form. One out here as Andy McKenzie is on the mound in game 16. It could be a really low scoring game if both of these pitchers are on their game. I, for one, am hoping it's not a low scoring game because I want to get those home runs and I want to stay on top of the leaderboards. Slide in. Oh no! He dove! He didn't slide for it. Come on, Flash! That's going to be a run and a triple. I thought he'd slide for it. Hard hit to first and a quick line out. Thankfully, now two down. As we try to keep this run off the board, Candela swings and misses. McKenzie dealing 92 miles per hour. It's a big at bat here, bottom one. Two strikes. And hit on the ground to second. Candela has speed and he is safe. Starks couldn't play it cleanly, so 2 nothing Crocodons. As this goes to center, well, not, we're not going to try to slide this time. Not on that one. Alrighty, they're getting some hits off Andy here as this is lifted into the shallow part of right field. And we almost messed that up as well. 2 nothing's bad enough. Here's Andrew Ross. Now if we win this game, and if we go to the playoffs, we're just going to face the Crocodons again, so be prepared to get familiar if we can make that hit the playoffs. Oh, come on. I almost hit him. So Andrew Ross needs one home run to tie for the league lead. 3-1. And he rockets that back up the middle in the center for a base hit. We'll take that. And now it's Maurice Manning who is two homers behind first place. Good location right down the middle. Should have swung. That one's low. All right, two strikes to Manning. Oh no, too early. 70 miles per hour. He pulled the string on those last two and it gave me a lot of trouble. The location there by Brick, and now he goes to the outside corner to get ahead in the count. Strike three on the outside, and Brick can pitch. That This is some of the toughest pitching we've faced all year. Ground ball, Candela, and he ends the inning. I can't stand the Crocodons. I cannot stand them. That's past Starks and into right. A really bad start for us here in game 16. And Maurice Brick pops up, thankfully. Put that away, Andy. 
It's going to ground ball and end the inning. So it's Norton Pickle, and he pops this up into foul territory. Got that. Now it's Gordon Fruitwell, and that is lifted in the center. Easy routine play. Good catch, Flash. So Starks, McKenzie, and Jackson here in the third inning as we try to get our offense going. And Brick misses the first two. Right down the middle for strike one. And now the count gets evened up. 2-2. Two -two. And a ground ball through the middle. Good job there by Starks. I want to see a lot of pitches from Brick. I want to get into their bullpen really bad. This is one team where patience is really necessary. Andy McKenzie now up one and one. And that is a line out to third base. Starks retreats. And here's Flash Jackson. Come on, Flash. We need some big at bats in this one, but this won't do it. Candela at a second, and they get both. Leadoff hit goes to waste. Now bottom three as McKenzie has that shot past his glove. And Starks will not make the play. Now the Crocodons, they can hit as well. Obviously, as you're seeing here in the first three innings. They're a team that has, they thrive on great pitching. But they're no slouches at the plate. Candela with a drive, and that's going to open up this ball game. Off the wall around 400 feet to center field, and he drives in a pair, ends up on third with no one down. So I'm not sure how tiebreakers work in here if we lose this game. Oh, no, we're going home with it, and it's not going to pay off. I'm trying to save the run. It's already It was already 4-0. Now it's 5-0, but thankfully a double play here. Leanne Drive. Now I'm not sure how the tiebreakers work like I said. I know we split with the Platypie, so it would have to go to a second tiebreaker, and I have no idea what it would be. Division record, maybe? But then I can't even see their schedule, so we're still going to wait for those results if we can't win this. But hey, we're not going to give up in here. Flash to center, come on! That just kept on hanging up in the air. I thought it would bloop in. It didn't. Now Andrew Ross. Man, his eighth homer of the season would be pretty big right now. Instead, a ground ball stays in the infield, and Ross is doubled up. Another double play. Is that two or three? I can't even remember. So McKenzie has given up five earned, and we'll see if he can go through a scoreless inning. Mojo is at minimum right now. Good catch, Flash, or Lance. Two down, Fruitwell the center. Tough play for Flash, but he backhands it for out number three. Into the fifth. Here's Maurice Manning. And a ground ball softly hit to short. Manning retired again. Maurice Brick doing a fantastic job. I'm not sure if I like facing him less than Bishop Fuller. I know Fuller has had our number. Man, he can paint the corners with those benders unlike any pitcher I've seen. Gloved at third. Great play. And the throw is in time. Come on. Darren Rose. Oh, man, that was an ugly swing. Just take a few pitches here, Darren. Thankfully, his stamina is below half. But it doesn't matter how many pitches you take if you're not getting hits. And that's not a hit either. Taken away by Candela. All right, Andy. Juanita Hernandez on to third base. Good job, Maurice. A lot of quick at-bats here for Andy. They've been first pitch swinging at most of these pitches. Now we're ahead in the count. Two strikes. And a ground ball to Rhodes. Take care of that out number two. But now we have Candela. 
And he's been a big problem for us. In the field and in the box. And McKenzie gets him out in front. It's a two strike count. And lifted to deep right. Hooking. Please go foul. It just does. Otherwise would have been 6 nothing. Brown ball. Oh, it's past Manning's diving glove and a base hit with two down. Not looking good for us here, and it looked that way from the get-go, basically. This is not a team we've had a lot of success against. There we go. Get that play. Jump out of the stadium if you have to. Strike three. Good job, Andy. Starks, McKenzie, and then back to the top as I may take out Andy after this. Although his bat is actually fairly valuable, especially given his speed. That's gloved by Brick and out number one. Andy McKenzie. I think it's time to move on. Not a good outing here for McKenzie. Five runs and five innings. Now we have Dominic Carter trying to jumpstart the offense. And that's not going to do it. Hard hit, but right at the shortstop, out number two. We don't have many hits in this one. Strike one to flash. Maurice Brick's ratings beginning to take a dip. Good contact, but well foul. Strike two with two down. And he swings behind the pitch for strike three. These are some nasty pitches. This is where I wish the game had like a really in-depth scoring system overseas and so I can see like our success against Brick. That'd be fun to track because there aren't a lot of teams and not a lot of pitchers so you get a lot of volume against the same players. So you get sample sizes you can actually derive usable stats from. I love stats in video games for some reason, like, I've always been into stats on sports games more than I have been in real sports, and I know I've talked about this, nice job there Evan Newton, he gets the strikeout, now it's Maurice Brick, he's done a great job, Crocodons are winning 5 nothing, and that is a 1-2-3 inning for Evan Newton. So the offense has to get going at some point if we're going to make anything happen here today. Here's Leon Daniels. We take the first two. Count gets even at one apiece. And then Leon deep left center with carry into the gap. It is down. Extra base hit for Leon Daniels. He checks in at second with a double. Let's hope to move him across early here. Lance Adams, oh no. Why did I move the reticle down? That was a huge error. But now Andrew Ross. Can he get us our first run across? That will do it. Into the gap, past the left fielder. It is an extra base hit. Ross to second, he gets another RBI. He leads the league. Now it's 5-1. A little something going here, Maurice Manning. On to short. Uh oh, they want Ross to get out. And instead, they get nobody. So this is our inning to make something happen. Two on, one down, Corey Boyd. Come on. One big swing could change the whole complexion of this game. No. Another pop-up. And that takes us to Darren Rose. And I feel in this spot you have to put in Hudson. He gets the power up here, a runner in scoring position. And Hudson lifts this deep to right center, but he was far too underneath it. And that is the last out of the seventh inning. Top of it, anyway. So we get one. Oh, it's past Starks and a base hit to right. We need four more runs. Four. Give me a double play ball here, Gordon. That will do. Out number one and out at second. Juanita Hernandez, never an easy out. Lifted to deep left center. This is trouble in the gap. And it's off the wall. 
That is at least a double. Hernandez holds there. Come on, let's keep this run off the board. Ryan here has only a 2.11 average or whatever it was. And she's retired, so on to the eighth. We still need four runs. We begin with Jonathan Starks. And that is ripped to first base, easy out. Now we'll pinch hit Pratt. Maurice Pratt. And he puts this in play for Candela out number two. Top of our order now, Flash Jackson. Tings off the railing. And again, two strikes. Inside, ball number one. Backing him off the plate now, working to the outside here. Low, full count to Flash Jackson. And a pop-up that'll get out of play. Low ball four. Good at bat there for Flash. As we bring up Leon Daniels. And the new pitcher is in TMA Fair. Daniels trying to get something big with two down. And that misses. That one upstairs. 2-0. Inside. 3-0 count. And it's outside a four-pitch walk, setting up Lance Adams. He's 0 for 3. Now a big chance to make something happen, and that misses. Down the middle, they finally get a strike. And that is lifted to deep center. Get going. It's down. Two runs will score. Lance stays at second. 5-3. We're not going to go down that easy. And now it's Andrew Ross. With seven homers on the year and 24 RBIs. Can the rally continue? In the dirt ball one. Inside ball two. Oh my goodness. 3-0 count to Ross. Upstairs. Another four pitch walk. And that brings up Maurice Manning. In one of the biggest spots of this series. Two on, two down. Down two and it's gloved. No! Manning's out and the inning's over. We get one more crack at it in the ninth. For now, Andy Beckwith will pitch. And first has Candela. And this is driven deep to right. And that is gone on one pitch. Come on, man. We just got two runs, a clutch two-out rally, and this is what Beckwith does on one pitch. He has had a terrible year, and he's going to see all of one pitch today. I've had enough. Eric Hancock's turn. Six to three, Crocodons. Like I said, they do more than pitch. Left field on a line, up number one. Nori Miyoshi pops this one up and Manning calls it. Out number two. Leanne Drive, a buck 70 average. Good location there by Eric Hancock. Now up the middle, easy play. Now we need three runs. So in the ninth, this is to get us into the playoffs. Boyd Hudson Starks. Not exactly the best lineup we could put up for this inning but it's what we have and it's time now we're nothing Corey ninth inning underway and Mayfair still struggling with the accuracy oh too late another strike now 2-2 two, two. and rip to third for out number one Maurice Hudson one down in the ninth and that is rocketed foul Come on, Hudson. Maurice Hudson on to third. Easy play. Two down. Season potentially on the line. I don't want to be at the mercy of the simulation. Jonathan Starks. That was slow as can be. Mayfair gets that strike in for a 1-1 count now upstairs. 2-1. In. Oh, what hit him! 
Starks took one for the team. He wasn't backing away. Oh my goodness. I can't justify hitting with Eric Hancock. That means I have to hit with Eric Carter. He does not have a defining moment in this series. You know what? Hancock's ratings are a little bit better. Man, he's faster. Is it Eric Hancock's moment? Or is it Eric Carter's moment? We're going Eric Carter. Starks at first. And Carter trying to just get aboard one way or another. First pitch is key and it's right down the middle. Strike one. And that runs inside. Strike two to Eric Carter, season on the line. And that is gloved! Candela ends the game! No! The mojo gave Carter a big rating boost too. And the B-Wolves fall 6-3 in game 16 for a 9-7 record. We gave it our all in this one. We had six hits. That's it. That has to be a season low. The pitching let us down today. The hitting wasn't very good. And Andre Candela, four for four. Absolutely nuts. All we can do now at nine and seven is simulate and see what happens. Now we are listed lower than the platypi. I'm not sure if that is evident that they made the playoffs and we didn't but I'm not saying it's a good sign so we do not take home the triple crown but do we make the playoffs Crocodons get another win they're 13 and 2 and they'll play the last game of the season so it's the sirloins and the moose in the mega division Crocodons go 14 and 2 and the B Wolves do not make the playoffs unbelievable after this season that we put together, it ends with no playoffs. That is unbelievable to me. The offense was impeccable. We had three of the best 10 averages in the league. We had three of the best home run hitters, three of the best RBI hitters, yet no playoffs in pitching. We even had, well, I guess we had a couple guys drop out for ERA, but for the most part, it was good this season. Wow. To miss the playoffs after that season is pretty rough. I'm just going through here and getting numbers in case I ever make that spreadsheet, which would be a little bit of a challenge to make, be a little bit time consuming. I'm not sure if I have all the numbers for the first few seasons. Didn't anticipate the series honestly going this long and having so much to look back on in terms of stats so I'm gonna simulate the playoffs here in just a moment let me go to the pitching stats there we go no scrolling down look at the home runs given up Logan Cannon gave up eight Evan Newton was the only pitcher to not give up a homer this year but he also pitched the least just 13 innings of course Hancock had a better season this year much better. A 160 average, and I thought about maybe he could start. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to start your reliever in here if they let you do that. I guess I've never tried. But now it's time to simulate, and of course, another season will begin shortly. And I've thought about this more as the Crocodiles take game one, but I think we're going to stick with the short seasons. I want to get that triple crown, and I love, I love 16 game seasons. It's a perfect number. I don't care the sport. 16 game seasons are fun. So the Crocodons sweep the Platypi, they go to the championship. Remember the Sirloins are the defending champs, and they move on. The Sirloins beat us last year in the championship series, and now it's the Crocodons meeting up with them. And game one goes to the Sirloins. Go Sirloins, go! Take out the Crocodons! And they do with a two-game sweep. Thank you, Hammerlong, Ballo, and crew. The Crocodons are eliminated. So there you go, guys. That is Season 7, 8, whatever it is here in Super Mega Baseball. I want to see the stats, by the way, for the playoffs as I aimlessly navigate these menus. Get me the stats. 
Need to see the league leaders, playoffs. Look at the look at the the long ball, those are sirloins. Yeah, look at all those home runs they hit. Those guys are crazy. But those pitchers, look at the Crocodons are the three best pitchers. I can't stand that team. I think our rivalry is back to with the Crocodons again now that I'm happy with the Moose or the Sirloins. Thank you, Sirloins. Your seven or your nine and seven record was good enough. Ours was not. But hey, as always, next year. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video despite the loss and the way it all ended. But we'll be back with another season here shortly. And I have some new upgrades available for the team. And I will start off next year by doing a few upgrades. I saw Lance Adams get something opened up. Along with Andrew Ross, I believe. So I shall see what I can do for the next episode. I have two hirings I can do. And we're definitely going to try to make this team more efficient with these upgrades. And I'll be back with more Super Mega Baseball here shortly. Thank you all for watching. And have a great day.